Hi everybody, not done a t-shirt video for a while, it's probably been about three months. I've been very very busy on other channels, but um, I've had a lot of requests though in that time for people wanting me to show them how to use the Cameo Silhouette Cutter for vinyls. Now my tutorials as you know is predominantly for t-shirt printing, uh, transfer printing, but I don't go into the vinyl print and although this is very very capable of cutting vinyls out and actually does a very very good job of it as well. So if you want to go into the vinyl cutting market I'm going to show you a little demonstration now. This is a pile of t-shirts which we've got here uh, which we've just taken stock of. All many different types and we can actually personalise quite a lot of these for individual things just to put them out because it's coming up to Christmas and uh, sell on Facebook and stuff like that. So. The sort of thing I'm talking about, we just had these basic plain kiddies t-shirts. Again, we've just got uh, all different colours, various sizes as well. And rather than do a whole batch of them and uh, advertise them, we're just going to basically personalise some of these with some... The easiest thing to do is to popularise them, uh, pop populate them with slogans. So I'm going to show you one, that's as we get them, the basic blue t-shirt there. That is a heavyweight child's ultra cotton t-shirt. That is a youth small. And what we've done, just a simple slogan. Again, done with vinyl. And as you can see there, when I want something, give it to me. That's just something we made up off the top of our heads. If you want to put different quotes on there or stuff like that, have a search on the internet for famous quotes and stuff like that, just to give you some ideas or comedy quotes. If you type that into Google, for example, you'll find loads and loads of quotes and stuff like that. And make some t-shirts with just slogans on. Let's go over to the Cameo Cutter and let's show you how we can actually cut these out and make them. Right, so here we are over at the uh, Cameo uh, Cutter and the computer. So if I just turn you around, basically this is all you need. You can need either a laptop or a normal PC and your Cameo Cutter. We don't need the printer for when we're doing cutting vinyls. This doesn't print onto the vinyl. This is purely a cutter for those of you who know about the Cameo Cutter. It, uh, it can print, it can cut up to A3 size. I've got my rollers set on the A4 size because we use our transfer papers which are A4. So we're not even going to alter them. So obviously we go to turn the unit on by pressing the on button. We're not going to be using a cutter mat for cutting uh, our vinyl out. We're going to be putting the vinyl straight into the actual rollers because this has got the facility to actually accept it. So we're just going to leave the cutting mat underneath there and we'll go over to the PC now and we'll just fire up our Cameo Silhouette software. We're not using any Photoshop or anything like that. We're purely using the software that has come with this cutter, which is the Silhouette Studio. Now this is version 3, which you're going to see loading now at the time of me making this video, but they do change the layout now and again. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. So initially, first of all, we're going to go to the little tab up here, which has sort of a sheet of paper on it with two arrows. When you hover the mouse over it, that says open the page settings window. So that is that basically there. That opens up the page settings tab here. So what we're going to do here is we've put our paper in the portrait position, not landscape. We're leaving it onto portrait like that. And we've chose Normally, if you've got the uh, cutting mat, you would choose like the 12 by 12 cutting mat window there, which I'm sure those of you with a Cameo cutter would reckon, recognize the cutter there. Or you can use the A4 one, which is the one down there, which is what I'm set up for, which is that one there. I've got that cutting mat, which as you can see is the A4 cutting mat there for when we're sticking our transfer papers on. So that's what it basically looks like next to the screen. But as I said to you, we're not using the cutter mat. So the cutting mat, we're gonna set to none. And that's what I've just done there. And all you're left with is just a blank page. Now, all I'm going to do now is to click on the text tool, which is basically over here. As you can probably see there, it's a, it's a capital A. And if you just click on that, that brings up the text style window. Now this is where you can actually choose your font for example for uh, your text so for example if i just scroll down there 
I'm going to use a font called, it's a nice font actually, it's called Hobo Standard, where is it? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Hobo Standard, which is there. And once you've selected your font, I'm just going to click the uh, center of the text. So I'm going to click that, and somewhere on the page, just put the mouse on the page and click anywhere. And then you'll get the flashing cursor. Now don't worry about the size or anything for the moment, because we're going to adjust that in a minute. I'm just showing you how simple it is to get going to cut vinyl on this cutter. So I'm just going to type onto the keyboard what I want written and the way I want written. So we'll stick with the t-shirt one which we've uh, just worked out, which was when I want something. And I'm going to, after the words when I want, I'm going to just drop it down the line by pressing the enter button and something. And then I'm going to have a, go down to another line, put a little dash in there, and then go down to another line, and then type in the rest of it. When I want something, give it to me. I suppose I could put a capital W in there, and a capital I, just if I'm being picky. And the first, I'm, I'm just capitalising all the first letters. There we go. When I want something, give it to me. So basically, all I've done there is typed on the page the text. I haven't done anything else. And... All I'm going to do now, once, you click, once you've typed it in, right, so basically what we need to do now is to reverse this image. So if we just click it, and hold, that then brings up the size of the image, as you can see. It is six point, just over six inches in width, and just above four inches in height. Now, what I want to do, I want to find out what size I want this text. So if I go over to our T-shirt, as you know, all, all the T-shirts are different sizes. This is a youth small size there so i'm just going to get a tape measure i've just laid that t-shirt out and i'm just roughly looking at what size i think would be best in the middle of that t-shirt now this one for example i'd say maybe a width there of say seven inches so my main criteria is that i want this whole text to read uh, seven inches wide and that's will cover me from there to there but i'm quite happy with that so if we go over to our image you can see there that the, this text at the moment is six inches wide. So all you do on these windows, these little square boxes around the edge, as you can see, if you hover the mouse over it, the ones in the corner will actually, when you drag them out, when you hold the left mouse button down and drag them out, they will actually make the size in scale and make them bigger. If you actually just drag the ones in the middle, one there and one in the side, they will just stretch. So they will stretch the letters. So you don't want to really be using the stretch ones. You want to really drag it out to keep the, the letters looking as they should do. So I'm going to grab hold of one of the corners. I'll hover the mouse. As you can see, this is just my left mouse button I'm going to be using. Take it over one of the dots in the corner, the little squares, and it turns to a little pair of arrows. Put your left mouse button down and drag. And as you can see, the figure which we're interested in is the width. We want that to go to seven inches. So I'm just going to continue to drag six and a half inches, seven inches, near enough seven inches, there we go, I'm just over seven inches there, which is perfect, and that has gone to about four point, uh, four and a half inches in depth, so I'm quite happy with that, seven inches was my main concern, and that's basically what I've got, so once I've done that, I need to go up to the object window at the top there, because this needs to be mirrored, and what you do is press object, mirror, flip horizontally and you'll see that go and actually change around it's now in in the reverse so basically that is just where we want it so I, you can move this on the page anywhere you want i'm just going to put it uh just drag it up to the top corner of the page there and i'm quite happy with that pr uh, procedure there so basically that is the text the right way around and the right size with the cut lines so I'm going to go over now to the cut settings, which is the little second one in at the top there, and it comes up cut settings. So I'm going to click on that. And now this shows us the setting up window. Now down here, you've got a load of different material types. Again, depending on what you're, um, what you're going to be cutting. I'm going to be cutting standard white vinyl. So I'm just going to scroll down there. The one I've chosen is heat transfer material which is smooth, they do two, one for flocked and one for smooth. So I'm just going to click on the smooth, 
and that opens up this window here and it gives you the speed which is already already set it and it's give you the thickness and it's also giving you an indicator there on what depth to have the blade now that is on number two as you can probably see there so what you do you come over to your cameo silhouette cutter you open the door and your blade is situated in this little cutter housing you half a turn that pull the blade out and as you can see this is the actual blade here now with a load of numbers around there and there's a little red dot on there i don't know if you can see that and to adjust it it's on number two there's a little pointer in this little thing there so it will only go in one way and as you can see once it's sitting in there you can turn that round and actually click on different settings so it's telling us number two cutter we've set it on number two and make sure that you drop the cutter back in and make sure it's fully home and fully down and then lock it in place half a cut so that is the cutter actually set up now everything else is set all we basically need to do is to choose our vinyl as i said to you we've chosen uh, just a white standard vinyl I buy this on the roll but you can cut this to whatever size you want and you can basically feed in um, up to any sort of size up to where the rollers are so I'm just gonna basically cut a square out I know roughly what I want again you could you could all, all, all have all these actually pre-cut or you can buy them in sheets as well now I'm feeding it in this way and what you have to you've got two sides one is the shiny side and one is the sort of dull matte side the dull matte side is the glue side and that goes up facing up in the cutter so i'm just going to put it under the rollers there as you can see and once we've got that under the cutters all you basically do then is to press the enter button there's a little dot on there which says load cutting mat or load media if you press the down arrow it goes to load media and then just press enter and the media actually goes in all we do then is come over and click send to silhouette that will now cut out exactly what we was um, printing right okay right so that is now just cut that out and very faint you probably can't see it but I'm just going to start weeding that out by taking out the little bits of the letters as you can probably see there and this is your weeding out now as you can probably see again don't go mad when you're pulling this off You start separating the outer vinyl from in fact I'll cut that off there otherwise we'll be wasting too much so if I just chop that off there there we go that's a bit better isn't it so now we can start to pull this off again I so say just be careful don't go mad when pulling it and we're looking for the outer stuff to come off first like that so that's the outer stuff off and all we've basically got to do then is to go around and just take the middles out where the middles have been left and to do that you have one of these little pick tools and literally just hook in and pull away on all the O's and stuff like that and it's best not to have letters that are too small I've seen people make really small uh, letters mostly when they're doing breast logos and stuff like that for pockets on polo shirts and stuff like that and really you can have a big trouble so you know although you can um, cut quite small on this it's the weeding out that's the problem afterwards for the little in between of the letters so as you can see here it's a pretty straightforward procedure and quite simple but you really need one of these little pick tools you can get these on ebay they're called a weeding tool and there we go I think I've got them all out so that's what we've actually cut out 
And when you turn it around, there's our phrase. Now this paper is nice and sticky to attach to our t-shirt. So let's go over to the heat press and put this on a t-shirt. Right, so here we are over at the heat press. Now here's our t-shirt, as you know. Now I'm just gonna place this on the t-shirt press and I'm gonna press it just for a few seconds. I normally do a, a five second blast and that just removes all the moisture out of the t-shirt. So there we go. I think you see there's loads of moisture on there and that don't help when you're trying to apply labels or any, any sort of sticker onto your uh, t-shirt. The moisture can actually play havoc with them and stop them from sticking. So again, I tend to go around all the garment and not only that, it also presses them as well because a lot of these have been in storage. So it just helps with the um, presentation of it all as well. So, and then just flip it over. A lot of people don't bother doing this, but I do. It's just part and parcel of what I do. So it's only a little quick five second, five or six second blast. And then we know basically that we've got a nice flat t-shirt to work with to put our label on. So if I bring our t-shirt back onto the workbench, you can do this on the press, but it's just that I'm showing you here and it just makes our life a lot easier because we've got a nice open space. So here's our slogan and I'm just going to position it by eye where I think it looks like it's going to be okay and then just stick it on. Now again, you could always safeguard that by just double checking. The way I double check is I look at the seams on the sleeve and provided I've got an even gap between like the, the letters at the top from the sleeve to the, the end of the first letter, from the sleeve to the end of the first letter, that's near enough correct. And uh, maybe three or four fingers down to the top of the writing, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm happy with that location on there. That's stuck down. We'll take it back over to the heat press, lay it back on there. I always push the collar over the back so that we're not actually pressing on the actual collar as well. I take the Teflon sheet and I cover the whole lot up so that we don't get any scorch marks on the t-shirt. And this vinyl is a cold peel product and it is uh, 150 degrees for 15 seconds, but I do an extra five seconds, so 20 seconds. So pull it down. It's on high pressure, number eight. We've got 17, 16, 15 seconds to go, whatever. This is an auto clam uh, heat press where it automatically pops up, but I just put my hand over the top there. The manual ones, after it bleeps, you normally have to pull up yourself, but uh, this one is an auto open one, but I'm just holding my hand over there because it will pop up, as you can see. Up she comes. I just take that off. And now all you've basically got to do, some of these are hot pill, these are cold pill. The reason why I use cold pill ones is because you can actually layer over another cold pill transfer with a different colour, for example, if you like. So that's what that is. Let's cool down a little bit now. So I'm just going to ease that back now. Pulling it off. And there we go. Another perfect garment printed with vinyl. And as you can see, nice attractive one, that one. So we've got that one there, I've just done. And we've also got that one there. Two lovely printed garments there. Don't cost a lot of money at all. And you've now turned them into a nice little product with a little slogan on. And anyone can do this if you've got a cameo cut or even a craft robo. Let's go back over to our cutter again. Back to the cutter, cutter software. Once you go to close the page down, in the top left hand corner, top right hand corner, click close. Do you want to save changes to this untitled document? We say yes. And we're going to call it when I want something, give it to me t shirt. So we'll type that in. So basically, when we shut the program down, and if you want to print one of them t shirts off again, you just go to your Silhouette Studio software. You go to the second icon there, which is you open up your file for your folders. And you find it, when I want something, give it to me, click OK, and it automatically comes back up again with all the settings saved. So all you have to do basically is to load your media into there. It could be a different colored vinyl, for example. And basically all you have to do is to press center silhouette cutter and cut. And that will then cut out another t-shirt vinyl on this. Now again, this isn't a in-depth tutorial on how to do this. I've given you some basic information on there on how to start printing these fantastic graphics 
onto t-shirts you can do exactly the same with images as well that I'll po point out to you in another tutorial but you can have so much fun with slogans for example like that put comedy slogans on there back or front or whatever and sell them into either Facebook or whatever or even on, on eBay but you know you'll have a lot of fun with Christmas coming up with different there's so many different phrases different comedy phrases different catchphrases for example people love things like that nice and simple so durable as you can see lovely lo lovely let's try and get you quite near I don't think you can see them properly lovely lovely uh, quality on that now don't forget you don't have to do it in white you can get black vinyls you can get glitter vinyls you can get puff vinyls just change the settings in your cutter experiment with them if don't cut first time then try a different setting I'll try a little depth uh, change on your actual uh, cutter itself and you will find the right one it's just though this is just the standard clothing vinyl the standard settings work from the supplier which I get my vinyl from so I mean it's not worth leaving a message to me saying oh, I've tried it at that cutter and it won't work just order it yourself play about it yourself I've just shown you how simple it is to do you can have a lot of fun and make a lot of money doing this sort of stuff anyway hope you enjoyed this little tutorial thanks very much don't forget to rate comment and subscribe to my channel if you want some more of these sort of videos, give us a shout and I'll do a few more because I'm sure that I've covered transfer paper printing very well uh, as much as I can really. This is a new venture for anyone in the transfer printing market where you can actually take these professional looking garments to market with your own personal slogans on or any other famous quote or saying. Okay, thanks very much. See you in the next video. Bye for now.